Namibia is ranked 87 points below Tunisia in the world rankings, but didn't stop this guy from getting wide open, tied up at 88 minutes into the match, and the cross, the header, the go-ahead goal, the celebration, cartwheel, backflip. What is going on? Shock victory in the Africa Cup of Nations. He's into the crowd to celebrate. He's having a blast. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Bump, ba da da bop, beep, beep. Brought to you by you. Thank you very much for watching. The show's been doing well recently. I've been enjoying making it. We've loved finding these clips and sharing them with you. If you enjoy it, you can subscribe to the channel and like and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's go to baseball. Venezuelan baseball. We got a tie game in the top of the eighth and an all-time botch play. Miggy Rowe, our dude, was the batter. He hits it. Right fielder botches it, and Miggy Rowe just keeps on running. Probably a nice sneaks, too. He likes his kicks. He's tired. He's gassed. The game is theirs. They're now up five to three. Just got to catch their breath. Oh, there's two on. Okay, but only one more out, and they win. They go home. They enjoy themselves. There's the ground out. Alcides Escobar at second botches that one and allows two runs to score on this side. So I guess we're all even. What's going on? It's five to five. We go to extras. He's thinking, oh, did I? Oh, they're smiling over there. Escobar's like, shit, damn. That sucks. I think I should have got that. I think I definitely should have fielded that one. It's like, you know, it sprung on him. Took a little bit of a hop. Think he could have got around it. The pitcher's thinking he's got his uh, clothes. He's, uh, nope. Five runs apiece. Top of the 11th. Runner on first. One out. And look who steps to the plate. Our dude, Yasiel Puig. That's right. He's been having a pretty good time in the pool play over there. First pitch, breaking ball, strike. Next pitch, Puig says, what's it going to be? I hope he doesn't quick pitch me while the camera's not showing the action. Uh, okay. Boom. Well, kind of cut, but they quick pitched him. The camera didn't see it, but it was a swinging strike. Oh, two. All right. Let's put something in the dirt. It says, throw me your change up. It says, all right, combio, combio. Let's do it. It's in a terrible spot. It's slower than his fast pitch, and it's hammered. And it's gone. And Puig stares at it and watches it and sees it go. Pisses the Bravos off. Says, we are not the Bravos. Losers. He went on to apologize. He said he just hasn't hit a home run in a while or something like that. And he apologized for upsetting people for that, which, I don't know, seems a little minor. Anyway, great to see Puig. His butt looks crazy weird here. You guys missed that. Must-see rally in the Malaysian Open of badminton. It's absolutely unbelievable. The dude closest to the camera is down, but he's winning this set. And he's going to get tossed and turned all over. Look at this. Dives forward. Gets it. Oh, dives backwards. Saves it. Oh, my God. The slam. Saves it backwards. Saves it again. Cannot do it again. Loses to tie the set 15 each. But he would come back and win the second set. But then he would lose the third. So he lost overall. But that doesn't stop the highlight. This is all people are going to remember. Look at the full extension. Oh, I got you covered this way. I got it covered this way. I got it covered that way. I got it covered that way. Okay, I don't have it covered back there. I don't have it covered back there. And you guys thought this was exciting? Wait till you see the judges' excitement over this rally. Exuberant reactions. Badminton, lifelong fans, seeing the game played to the best of its abilities and enjoying every damn second of it. Round of applause. We had an amazing ending in the Men's European Handball Federation Euro 2024 between the Faroe Islands and Norway. Now, the Faroe Islands have never earned a point in handball before, and they're down by two to Norway, but they get that pass and shot to go within one. Okay, there's 20 seconds left in the match, and they're screaming and they're yelling, steal the ball, steal the ball, steal the ball. They get the steal, but then he gets thrown to the ground. He thinks he's got an open shot. The ref says, no, 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 blows. Hold on, hold on, Faroe Islands. I think you're going to like what I have to say. What are you going to say, man? What are you going to say? I'm going to say that you would have had an open shot, but number 22 threw you to the ground. You exaggerated a little bit, but still it was a penalty, and you have a shot. Oh, we have a shot. Oh, my God, I love penalties shots in handball because 
They're just right close. Goal. That ties the match with four seconds to go. They don't care. They're celebrating the tie as if they won the whole damn tournament. Want to know why? Because the first time they ever scored a point and because 5,000 Faroe Islanders, for Faroese, 5,000 Faroe Faroes fans are in the crowd, which is 10% of their population. They're, that's 10% of their population right there, and they just won. I mean, no, they didn't win. They tied. <laughs> they tied. <laughs> but how good does it feel to feel something the way they're feeling this? A tie. And they're celebrating like that. Norway beats a bad team, and they don't even feel this joy. Way to go from the Faroe Islands. Bring joy into life. Next up, we got a cocky figure skater, Adam Seo Himfa. I believe it's pronounced, no idea. I think he's French, and he's the best. And he's taking deep breaths, snaps to life, says, let me dance around like a little doll on ice for a little bit. Okay, but first, hand wave, hand wave, backwards, but first, into the big old twisting jump, boom. Beautiful, damn. Falls, recovers. Coach is like, oh my goodness. Look at the coach, what a jerk. Oh, not what I taught him. Anyway, he's going to keep going, and he lands that thing, which is crazy, and then he shows his hair to the crowd, dances around, and then he's going to do all this stuff, which is cool. Oh, it's a backflip, guys. It's illegal. It docks him two points. Want to know why he did it? Because he didn't care. He still won by 20 points by doing all this stuff. He says, take the fine. I'm rich. You want the two points? Have them. I want to do a backflip, even though I fell. So what? I fell. That deducts points. I did a backflip. That deducts points. I'm competing with children. I don't know who he's competing with, but he still he still beat everyone. And I guess he did it all at the end. <sighs> Take that, losers. So, I'm going to get my hat. They're excited. I mean, they're all excited. They can't believe it. Grace, beauty, cockiness, swagger. Coaches are pissed. Why do you do that? He didn't have to do all that, huh? Well, he could because he's Adam Sayohimfa, and he's a winner. So you guys missed that. Maybe you never planned on watching it. Maybe you planned on watching it. Thank you for watching this, though. I appreciate you for that. And now, choose the fan of the week.